So this is a very classic example of, of this concept of urban canyon effect, which is something now that we're seeing more and more in Australian cities and particularly seeing in Brisbane. Uh, and urban canyon effect is characterized by this uh, vision that we have here where you have narrow streets and tall buildings on both sides. And what those do is they close in the street uh, and they minimize the amount of light and sunlight that gets in there. Now that leads to a number of negative effects. We're increasingly starting to understand cities as depressinogenic, which is a term that we're using in urban planning to describe the way that cities uh, and their makeup and their density and their form can actually uh, inhibit positive mental health. It can cause depression or anxiety in people or can exacerbate it in people who already suffer from it. And if you live in an urban canyon, uh, there may be an elevated risk uh, to your mental health in the long term. It's not a correlation necessarily, but it is a risk factor. The loss of greenery in a city is a very, very serious matter and it's one that we often screen out of our thought process, mainly because we don't generally attach a price value to it. So if we lose greenery, we don't think of that in terms of a dollar loss. But what we do uh, end up with when we lose greenery is we end up with things like urban heat island effect. So trees and grassy areas and green areas have a capacity to absorb heat and reduce ambient air temperatures. We lose that because we replace them with concrete and asphalt and things like that and that actually absorbs heat and increases uh, temperatures. It's almost unprecedented really in some respects. Brisbane has gone through a uh, an intense urban development in the last five years that's on par with probably what happened in the 50 years before that. I mean, the city has massively transformed, much more high density, much more high rise. The city skyline is quite different from what it used to be, but a lot of the character is gone. And we, to some degree, allowed that to happen because we allowed the old workers' cottages and the old Queenslanders to be cleared away and high rises and high density and unit developments to be put in their place. And that has profoundly changed the character of some of these areas for the negative, unfortunately.